Still in India, you go to the village. Uh, they are uh, happy with their destination. This is the Indian culture. Now we are injecting this contentment. Uh, inject. Uh, otherwise, everyone is happy, happy in his position. Uh, God has given this position. Uh, so this is all like. Let me do my work. Uh, that is satisfaction. Everyone is satisfied. Uh, still, it is going on. Although great propaganda is going on to kill the Vedic culture, uh, is this some uh, 1971 uh, we attended the Mark Mela, 1971 or which year? Yeah. Alavat Mark Mela? 71. Eh? 71. Yeah. So people were coming there, uh, uh, thousands and thousands to take a bath in the Ganges, and they were happy. Uh, <coughs> a, there, in Calcutta, there was a Indo-American society. Uh, I was invited to speak there. So they gave me the subject matter, East and West. So, <coughs> we are concerned, we have no such distinction east and west. Uh, we know that everyone is human being, and everyone, every living entity, not only the human being, even the gods, beasts, animals, trees, everyone, a living entity is part and parcel of God, Krishna, Mamei Bhāṁ Sudhīva Bhūta. So everyone is in ignorance. That is our concern. <coughs> our propaganda is not for the East and the West, but our fight is with the ignorance of the people. Because uh, at the present moment people are kept in ignorance, in foolishness, that he is this body, bodily identity. Uh, but still, in, there is difference between East and West. In the West, I have talked with big, big professors, learned scholars. Uh, they have no idea of next life. Uh, I talked with Professor Kotovsky in Moscow. He said, Samiri, after annihilation of this body, everything is finished. They have no idea that there is so. And in India, even the poorest man, he knows that there is next life. I existed in the past and I will exist in the future. This very conclusion is known even to the poorest man in literature. That is, of course, the difference between East and West. <coughs> so anyway, our position is that we should not identify this body as self. Krishna says here yeah, that uddhyāta-gyāna-nitya-tattam <coughs> tattva-gyāna-artha-darsanam etat-gyānam iti-prūttam avgyānam jat-hata-annatha uddhyāta-gyāna to understand oneself as the spirit soul, that gyāna Adhyatma-gyanam, tattva-gyana-artha-darsana. The laws of peace should be utilized, logic and philosophy should be utilized for self-realization, not for simply mental speculation. We find nowadays big, big philosophers, like volumes of both, simply theorizing without any understanding of the spirit soul, big, big philosophers. But Krishna says that uh, if one simply puts philosophical theories for some uh, utopian ideas, now as time is coming, which will be like this, like that. No. Time is there already. You cannot manufacture time like this or like that. It will go on. 
It is eternal. It is eternal, just like Krishna has said in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, that Arjo, you and me and all the soldiers and kings who are assembled here, it is not that we did not exist in the past, we are existing now, and we shall continue to exist in the future. So uh, this eternity of the soul, uh, we do not know. We are simply identifying ourselves with this body, and we are simply interested for the bodily comforts of life. Uh, this is the civilization of Vedanta. Uh, so although we have got this Bhagavad Gita, at least in India, the education should have been uh, on the line of Bhagavad Gita for the benefit of the people of India. Unfortunately, nobody is taking care. Even though there are some propaganda of understanding Bhagavad Gita, uh, they are interpreting in their own way uh, to fulfill their own ambition. Uh, this is very good. So here Krishna says, Amanittam. Uh, Amanittam. What is it? Amanittam. The central point of process of knowledge is mentioned here. Moicha ananna yogena bhakti abhyavichari. One has to be fixed up on this point. There are eighteen different descriptions of the process of knowledge, but the central point is moicha. Moicha cha means. Uh, uh, that is the main point. Without Krishna, if you simply try to uh, become elevated in knowledge, that will not stand. Uh, that will not stand. Therefore, Krishna says, Moicha, Moicha Ananna Yogena. Ananna Yogena means without any deviation. Uh, ananna Yogena Bhakti. Abhyavicharini, without any deviation. Abhyavicharini means without any disturbance. Ananda bhakti. In another place, Krishna says, Opite sudurachara bhajate maam ananda bha. Opite sudurachara bhajate maam ananda bha. Sadhudeva samantapo. Sammak bhavasita isa. The central point is Bhagavad Bhakti. Uh,